thought I'd show it charging. I've got it running through one of the uh, capsule devices. This thing is extremely powerful and they've only put together one of the circuits. How you do it is you tune both resistors down and then you raise the resistance of the, the power trend, power potentiometer, which is what this is here, here at the bottom. The one at the top is the one I've used as a, a trigger. It's got the ability to um, use two different base resistor values, the 1Ks or the 470 ohms. I'm using the 1Ks at the moment. I'm just running through a power supply initially, just while I'm going through the testing and only four of the coils are connected up. Three of the blue and one of the red. So this is the... Here it's just charging an iCAD. It's only been on for a what, minute or two. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that. That's the cap. What the capsule does, does is it works similar to the comparator. Is it, it takes the battery out of the loop. And it just allows the transistor, the capacitor to charge. And in turn, the bulbs switch the switch the transistors to to, to dump. And this is what the battery voltage is doing. If you can see that. Yeah, it's extremely powerful. This is going to be um, very potent. Mm -hmm. I've only connected up the the first set of four, which is on the first board. How I tune it is the black clip. The black clip here. Um, which is leading off, coming out of the, the 1Ks and this other one, which is not being used at the moment, that's coming off the 470 ohms clip onto the contacts here which represent different resistor values just as simple as that and then they all in turn feed into the pot which is where the, um, where the top trigger feeds into the bottom trigger feeds into the small capacitor here and then what I'm doing with the red coil, this single winding here, double layered, they're all double layered. Um, what I'm doing with this is I'm paralleling it with the red coil just to further enhance the spike. Everything here is matched as well, even the coils are matched. So, it's extremely, I can, I mean, I've had it running with a Thyristor cap dump, then a cap dump, and it was very close to overcharging the, the battery straight away. And it had only been powering on for a couple of minutes, so this is why I'm running through this at the moment. Because this does properly switch it. There's the scope shot. Playing with the, the potentiometers does play with the, the dump timing as well. Just tune that down. You can hear the battery taking a hit as well. Yeah, so I'm going to have to play around with this a bit more, see what else I can get it to do. Uh, and then I'm going to just gradually connect one board up at a time to the, to the coils and then join the boards up to the other boards until finally I've got one large system. But I can already see this is it's not really going to be designed to charge just a single battery. This is going to, it's going to need, it's going to require banks on the output. So anyway, that's it for me. So thanks for watching.